Have you ever wondered about the end of the world as we know it? The concept of the rapture, a moment where believers are said to be taken up to meet Christ, leaving others behind, has been a topic of fascination and debate for centuries. In this discussion, we're going to explore the biblical prophecies and signs that many believe point to these final days. From ancient scriptures to modern interpretations, we'll examine the intriguing and sometimes controversial ideas surrounding the end times. Are we living in the final days as foretold in the Bible? Let's dive into this captivating topic and find out. The rapture, a term that has captivated the minds of many, is not explicitly mentioned in the Bible. However, several passages are often interpreted as describing this event. One such reference is in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17, where it says, For the Lord himself will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Similarly, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52, speaks of a momentous change, in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. This sudden transformation, where believers are believed to meet Christ in the air, fuels much of the theological discussion about the rapture. John chapter 14, verse 3 adds a personal promise from Jesus, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. These passages form the cornerstone of the belief in the rapture, a moment of transformation and reunion with Christ, signifying a pivotal moment in Christian eschatology. In the Bible, numerous signs are described as heralds of the end times, a period leading up to the rapture and the second coming of Christ. Key among these is the passage from Matthew chapter 24, verses 30 and 31, which speaks of the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And all the peoples of the earth will mourn when they see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. This vivid imagery is complemented by descriptions in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 5, which warns of challenging times marked by societal changes and moral decline, where people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, Similarly, Luke chapter 21 verse 11 predicts natural disasters and upheavals, mentioning great earthquakes, famines, and pestilences in various places, and fearful events and great signs from heaven. These biblical passages have been the subject of much interpretation and debate, with many believers seeing in them the unfolding of a divine plan leading up to the ultimate redemption and transformation at the end of the age. The timeline of end times events, as outlined in the Bible, is a complex tapestry of prophetic milestones. It begins with the rapture of the church, described in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52, as an imminent event where Christ comes in the clouds to gather those who trust in him. Following this, the rise of the Antichrist marks a significant turn of events. According to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 7 and 8 and Revelation chapter 13 verse 1, a figure with satanic power will emerge, promising peace but leading the world into deception. This period ushers in the tribulation, a seven-year span filled with God's judgment upon humanity, as detailed in Revelation chapter 6 through 16. The Antichrist's ascent to power is a key characteristic of this time. Concurrently, the church, having been raptured, is believed to be in heaven, experiencing the judgment seat of Christ and the marriage supper of the Lamb. Another notable event in this timeline is the Battle of Gog and Magog, referenced in Ezekiel chapters 38 and 39, where an alliance of nations attacks Israel but is supernaturally defeated. This event is sometimes placed at the beginning of the tribulation. Midway through the tribulation, the Antichrist reveals his true nature in the abomination of desolation, leading to widespread persecution of believers. The culmination of the tribulation is marked by the Battle of Armageddon found in Revelation chapter 19 verses 11 through 21, where Christ returns with heavenly armies to defeat the forces of the Antichrist. Following this, a series of judgments and the establishment of a millennial kingdom and sway 
setting the stage for the ultimate renewal of creation. As the tribulation period draws to a close, several key events unfold, signifying the culmination of the end times. The Battle of Armageddon sees Jesus returning triumphantly with the armies of heaven. This epic battle results in the defeat of the Antichrist and his forces. Following this, Christ judges the nations, separating the righteous from the wicked, as depicted in Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 through 46. This period also potentially sees the resurrection of the Old Testament saints. Then comes the binding of Satan, who is confined for a thousand years, Revelation chapter 20, verses 1 through 3. This leads to the establishment of the Millennial Kingdom, a thousand-year reign of peace and prosperity, with Jesus himself ruling the world, as outlined in Revelation 20 and Isaiah chapter 60 through 62. The Millennial Kingdom is characterized by the rebuilding of the Temple in Jerusalem and a return to peace and righteousness. However, this era of peace is not the end. The final battle occurs after the thousand years when Satan, released from his prison, deceives the nations once again. This rebellion against the Lord is quickly quashed, Revelation chapter 20, verses 7 through 10, leading to the final judgment, the great white throne judgment, where all of sinful humanity faces judgment, Revelation chapter 20, verses 11 through 15. The narrative of the end times concludes with the creation of a new heaven and a new earth as God remakes the cosmos. The new Jerusalem descends from heaven, marking the eternal dwelling of God with humanity, a time when pain, death, and sorrow are no more. Revelation chapters 21 through 22. This final act completes the prophetic journey through the end times, leading into eternity with God. Interpreting the signs of the end times and the rapture is a subject of considerable debate and diverse opinions within the Christian community. Some view these biblical prophecies as literal events that will occur as described, while others see them as symbolic or allegorical, representing broader spiritual truths rather than specific historical events. There are also varying beliefs about the timeline of these events, while some hold to a pre-tribulation rapture, believing that believers will be taken up before the period of tribulation, others advocate for a mid-tribulation or post-tribulation view. The interpretations and speculations about the Antichrist's identity also vary widely, with some seeing it as a future individual and others as a symbolic representation of evil forces. Moreover, the interpretation of signs like natural disasters, wars, and moral decay as indicators of the end times, is often influenced by current events, leading to differing opinions about whether we are indeed living in the last days. These varied perspectives underscore the complexity and deeply personal nature of eschatological beliefs. As we've journeyed through the intriguing and complex topic of the rapture and the signs of the end times, it's clear that these biblical prophecies evoke a range of interpretations and emotions. Whether you see these signs as literal events soon to unfold or as symbolic lessons, the discussion is a reminder of the profound impact these ancient scriptures continue to have. I invite you to reflect on what we've explored today. How do these ideas resonate with your beliefs and perspectives? Remember, this conversation doesn't end here. Please share your thoughts, questions, and insights in the comments below. Let's continue this fascinating dialogue together. And if you found this video thought-provoking, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more discussions like this. Together, let's explore the mysteries of faith and the future.